I'm Pam Kettish with the Kettish Group at Keller Williams, joined by my lovely partner. <laughs> Hi, I'm Suzanne Starkey. And we are here today to go over the July 2022 market numbers. Yeah, so let's get into this. Let's jump into it. What's going on with summer numbers? In the middle of summer. Yes. Um, okay, so here's what we got. So we, our July numbers are out. I've got, the, of course, the whole MLS as well as Johnson County. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got for closed sales uh, in July 2022. Yep. Do you think we are up or down from 21? I think <laughs> I could cheat. <laughs> no, um, I think we are probably up a little. Okay. Um, no, no, we're not. No. So what does that mean when we're not, when we're starting to see that numbers are going down? Yeah. Is that a bad thing? Well, that's kind of how we've been trending all year though. That's so true. we, yeah. So no, July 22, we had 3,909 closed sales. Okay. Uh, in comparison to 21, we had 4,463. So okay. we're down about 12.4% in that, in that number. Uh -huh. This one I found interesting. So our average sales price in July of 2022 for the entire KC metro area was 347 1,194. In 21, it was 311, 496. So quite a good jump, 11.5% yeah. jump. That's good. However, so we're up in That's that scenario. Good. Yeah. Up for year over year, we're actually down in comparison to from month to month. In June mm -hmm. of 22, we were at 357, right. 395. Right. So, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not necessarily for this time of year. Exactly that's not correct. Normal because we've got some seasonal things going on, which yep. is normal. So hang tight with us. Yes. If you're wanting to buy or sell. Well, and that's exactly it. We people ask us all the time. Oh, well, when's the best time to buy a house? A hundred percent, it will vary. Yes, there are certain times that may historically be better yeah. overall, but we can't necessarily say. I mean, there are scenarios where typically I may say, oh, let's wait on the house to list it this week or that week. Mm -hmm. there, there are times that I've went against my own advice for a personal home that I sold. Right. So it really, it varies a lot as far as, um, you know, what our competi competition is, mm -hmm. what kind of you know, goal do you have? What, you know, do you need to get out? When do you close on your next one? There's just, there's Some so many variables. Price range too. Oh, a hundred percent. Right. Yeah. So if you're still in the sub 300s, you're still looking really good. Very I mean, desirable. Yeah. Very, very desirable. Yep. If you're a little bit over that kind of depends on what's going on. Um, Days on market, they're trending about the same as they were this time last year. Right. 18 days on market, so yeah. not no change there. Yeah, um, inventory, we're at 54.59 right now. Right. We were at 53.03, mm -hmm. so a difference of 2.9%. Not mm -hmm. a whole heck of a lot there, a What's little your bit. next number that I think is interesting? Well, our inventory, again, to follow the trend of 2022, mm -hmm. we're continuing to creep up a little bit, which is great. We are still way below where we need to be. Mm -hmm. Remember, a six months is a balanced market. We are currently at one and a half months. So let's talk about that for just a second for people that are watching us. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we say 1.5 months, what are we saying with that? What does that mean yep. to our people that are watching? So if there were all of the buyers that we have available to come and absorb all of the inventory, nothing else listed, no other buyers came on the market, mm -hmm. it would take about a month and a half to absorb all of the inventory right now. Right. So when we have, we had several months that we were under under one month. Which is and why that we is keep where the seller's market. Correct. And it still very much is, mm -hmm. but it's becoming more of a balanced market, which is what we desperately need. Mm -hmm. Six months is a, a considered a balanced market right. in we real need estate. To take six months to clean out inventory. So we're not quite there yet, but definitely trending Absolutely. in that direction. Absolutely. And that's probably one of the numbers that we're watching most closely because mm -hmm. that way we can educate buyers and sellers alike as to, you know, where's the market at? People ask us, where's the market? What's it doing? Well, this is what it looks like. Absolutely. So um, I want to go over some Johnson County numbers because yeah. we've had a lot of questions about kind of what's going on there. And we've had a lot of activity there recently. Mm -hmm. um, real quick, I'll hit it. Closed sales. We're at, we were at 1,028 for July, 2022. Mm -hmm. 21, we we're at 1240. So we are down 17%. Dang. Yes. Very interesting there. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to note the pending sales too. This year, we're at 904 mm -hmm. for July. Last July, we're at 11.78. So a big difference. down 23% mm -hmm. there. Okay, so yes. let's talk about that a little mm -hmm. bit for people who are hanging out. What does pending sales tell us? When we're watching that, why do we care about that? What's that telling us that's what's coming up next in the market? Your pending is your indicator of closed inventory. Right. So it tells you everything. Right. Um, the, you know, of course we call it forecasting here on our mm -hmm. team, um, but we try and forecast what's going on in the market. What are we seeing? What, you know, for sellers, sellers that we're educating now, we're getting their house ready for market 
market and such. We are saying, hey, this is what we're seeing out mm -hmm. there. We're watching everything that's pending or incoming, mm -hmm. also incoming on our market. So it's, it's just an indicator of so what to expect. Pending numbers, though, we've been watching since the beginning of the year, and those are the numbers we keep telling you keep going down, 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 which is why we knew we were going to start slowing down because which is making our these. inventory up, up, up. Mm -hmm. So, and it's not that, you know, we, I mean, we had several, we had a very busy weekend. We Absolutely. had lots of homes going under contract right. and such, which is great. But the homes that are still, if they're priced right, they look good. They are going, it is no longer a situation where people are, we're not seeing a ton of homes that have the $20,000 over asking mm -hmm. or that, you know, they, they can just list a, complete mm -hmm. just mess of a home mm -hmm. and expect five, six offers. We're not seeing that nearly as much as any so anymore. So if you've been a buyer lately and you've been this frustrated, this is good for you. Stay hanging out because Absolutely. you have had buyers that have gotten out for a variety of reasons. They have get burned out of losing deals or that interest rate when we had that going on. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of burned out some people. So if you're a buyer right now, Right now is a good time to get Let's back in Let's talk about it. what you're looking for and where. If you're a seller, we're still seeing multiple offers. I mm -hmm. mean, we went over that this week and we had multiple offers on properties. However, it's a situation that you need to be listed correctly. The home needs to show well. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you need to make sure that you are um, realistic in your expectations. Mm -hmm. We can no longer say, well, I don't need to do anything. Buyers don't care. That's not the case. That's not the case with every scenario. We yeah. want to make sure that we're educating you appropriately. Absolutely. So it's actually a good time for everybody, yeah. which is good. It's um, definitely, um, it, it's becoming more balanced and we hope that it continues in this trend. Mm -hmm. And so. the good thing is if you give us a call, we know strategies to be able to help you both ways. Absolutely. So, so again, real estate, it's a localized thing. Definitely give us a call. We'll be happy to educate you on what's going on in your specific market. Absolutely. But that's what we have for July. Thanks for joining us. Bye everybody.